Hi everyone, Ginny here, and I'm thrilled to be bringing you a yoga vinyasa flow today. We'll be stretching and strengthening the entire body. The only thing you really need is a mat and your beautiful self. If you would like a towel or something squishy, depending on the surface you're practicing on, to place under your knees when we are on our knees, just to give them some extra support. Otherwise, just a mat and yourself. And we'll go ahead and get started when you're ready, sitting in Sukhasana or Easy Pose. Just finding a comfortable seated position, pressing your sits bones down into the earth, bring your hands to your knees, and then gently close your eyes, just for a moment to allow yourself to fully arrive on your mat. Just take a moment to bring your awareness to your breath before you begin to change it in any way. Just notice the inhales and the exhales. And as you give your body a quick scan from the crown of your head to the tips of your toes, notice if there's any areas that feel tight or feel tense. And use your breath to send some softening into those spaces and places. And then just start to increase the depth and breadth of your inhale and exhale, breathing in and out through your nose, taking a few rounds. Let the breath feel full and complete, but not forced in any way. Maybe take this moment of stillness to set your intention for your practice. Maybe just a feeling that you want to cultivate more of. Maybe some more joy, love, peace, strength, abundance, vitality. And take this moment to set that intention. And then keeping your eyes closed, just drop your chin to your chest, stretching out the back side of the neck. Roll your shoulders back and down. And then drop the left ear to the left shoulder. If it feels good, you can take your left hand and just gently kind of pull down on your head, reach your right arm long to the side, feeling that stretch on the right side of your neck. Carefully come back up through center, drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Again, you can use that right hand to gently just place some little pressure to lengthen out that side of your neck, reaching the left arm long. And then carefully release, drop your chin back to your chest one more time. And then lift your head back up, roll your shoulders up, back and down. Open your eyes, inhale, arms reach up to the sky and exhale your hands to heart center. From here, inhale, reach it back up to the sky, sit up nice and tall. On your exhale, rotate and twist over to your right, bring the left hand to the outside of your right knee and find a spinal twist here this morning. Sitting up nice and tall, looking past your back right shoulder. Pull the belly in nice and tight, twist a little bit deeper. On your next inhale breath, unwind, reach the arms back up to the sky, sit up tall, lengthen the spine, and exhale, twist to the left, right hand to left knee, look past the back left shoulder, pull the navel into spine, and sit up nice and tall. Take a few rounds of breath here, in and out through the nose. On your inhale, unwind, reach the arms back up, and exhale, fold forward, reaching your arms forward, gently swaying your upper body side to side, stretching through the outsides of your hips. Let your head be very heavy here, melting down towards the floor. And then find some stillness here. See if you can sink down one inch more. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift slightly, exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, walk your hands back up towards your body. Take your right leg out nice and long. And then bring your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Take your right forearm down on the inside of the right leg. Inhale, left arm lifts to the sky. Exhale, take a side bend. Choose to feel this amazing stretch through that whole left side body. You're breathing into those intercostal muscles in between. Each rib cage, rotate your chest open towards the sky. Reach actively through 
through your left fingertips towards your toes. Inhale, come back up through center. Then take your left hand down behind your left seat. Lift your hips up to the sky. Lift your right arm. Reach up and over. Find a little bit of a back bend by pressing the hips forward. And look towards your back right fingertips. Carefully lower down. We're going to do that again. Take the right forearm down on the inside of the right leg. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, side bend. Stretching out the side body. Getting into that low back. Inhale, back up through center. Left hand down. Reach the hips. Reach the right arm up and back. Find a little back bend. And exhale, back down through center. Switching sides. Take your left leg nice and long. Bring your right leg into that inner left thigh. Take your left forearm down the inside of the left leg. Inhale, right arm high. Exhale, side bend. Then you're rotating your chest up towards the sky, reaching through your right fingertips. Inhale back up through center. Take the right hand behind the right glute. And then inhale, reach the hips up. Press the hips forward. Look past your left back fingertips. Exhale back down. Reach the left arm back down. Inhale, right arm to sky. Exhale, side bend. Lifting up and out of the right waistline. Inhale back up through center. Exhale, right arm down. Press the hips. Reach the left arm back. And then carefully come back. Down. You're going to make your way to tabletop. We're going to rinse that out with a few rounds of cat and cow. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Find a strong, neutral spine to start. And then on your inhale, lift your seat, lift your heart, let the belly drop. Exhale, round the back up towards the sky. Lower your eyes to your thighs and pull the belly in. Do that a few more rounds. Inhaling to arch it open. Exhaling, rounding your back like a cat. Breathing in and out through your nose. I'm going as fast or as slow as you need right here and right now. And then find a strong neutral spine. Bring your toes together. Knees come nice and wide. Extend your seat back over your heels. Reach the arms forward. Forehead comes down to the mat. Find a child's pose. Take a few cleansing breaths right here. Connecting your forehead down to the ground helps us to feel grounded and secure. And then lift your gaze up just for a moment. Take your hands over to the far right corner of your mat. Shift your hips to the left and then sing back in. So it's child's pose with a little bit of a lateral stretch. Lift your head back up, come through center, reach the fingers over to the left, press your hips to the right. And come back through center, making your way back up to that tabletop position. I'm going to do some back extensions and working that posterior chain all up and down your spine. So coming back to that tabletop, again, if you would like to place some towels or extra cushion underneath your knees. Now would be a good time to do that. Take your right leg back behind you. Squeeze your seat and lift the right leg up to hip height. Pull the belly in nice and tight. Then reach the left arm. You can always keep the left arm down as, as you get stronger. And when you're ready, reaching that left arm straight out in front of you. So you want to feel like you're reaching in opposition, fingertips to toes. Take a deep inhale here with fine leg. Exhale, crunch the elbow to knee. Pat your back up to the sky. Inhale, find that leg. Point through the toes. Exhale, crunch. Find your pace here with your breath. Inhale to lengthen and straight. Exhale, crunch. Two more. One more. Inhale, come back to that leg. 
Either hold here or you can bend that right knee, flex the foot, reach back and around for that right foot, and then lift the chest, lift the heart, find a back bend here. Bringing your gaze forward. Carefully release the foot from your hand. Bring it back down and sit back down on your heels just for a moment. You roll out the wrist before we switch to the second side. And when you're ready, come back down through that tabletop position. Hold the belly in, flatten out the low back. And then with an engaged core, take the left leg back. Lift it up to hip height, point through your left toes. Square your hips. Bring your knees forward and reach as an option that right arm straight up in front of you. So you want to be feeling like someone's trying to shake your hand at the same time as someone's trying to grab your toes. Really find that length. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, pat your back, elbow to knee crunch. Inhale, length. Exhale, crunch. Few more. Finding your rhythm with your breath. One more. Inhale to find that length once again. Either you hold here or bend the left knee, flex the foot, reach the arm back. The right arm reaches back for that foot, catching the foot or ankle and lifting the heart and chest. Bring the gaze forward. Carefully release. Coming back into that tabletop position. And spreading your fingertips nice and wide. Tuck your toes under. Lift your knees one inch off the mat. This is your turbo table or your beast pose. On your inhale, shift your seat back towards your heels. Keep the knees to a hover. Exhale, hinge forward into that turbo table. Do that a few more times. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, hinge forward. So we're working the core, firing up, warming up the thighs, working through the shoulders. A lot going on here. Inhale, shift back. Exhale, shift forward, turbo table. Two more. One more. As you come back through your turbo table, step your feet back, find your high plank. So this is the top of your push-up. You always have the option to modify by dropping down onto the knees. And then tuck and lift your hips up and back. Find your downward facing dog. This is the inverted V. And then just take a few moments to settle into your first down dog. You can walk your dog by bending one knee, then bending the other. Shake your head yes and no. And then start to settle into some stillness here in this down dog. Really press your chest towards the tops of your thighs. And imagine your sits bones pointing straight up towards the sky. Rotate your biceps towards the front of the mat and spread your fingertips wide. If your heels don't touch the mat, that's perfectly fine. And breathe. Focus on lengthening your spine and less about stretching out the back sides of the legs. And then bring your gaze to that space in between your hands. Bend your knees and start to walk yourself forward. And you'll find a forward fold at the top of your mat. Just hang out here for a few moments, maybe gently swaying side to side. You can clasp opposite elbows with your hands. And let gravity continue to pull you down. Again, pointing the sits bones up and tipping forward from your hip crease. Trying to get your chest and your belly closer towards the tops of your thighs. If the backs of your legs still feel really tight, then invite a nice deep bend in your knees to help release the low back and release the hamstrings. And then carefully lower your hands back down to the earth. Invite a nice deep bend in your knees and then slowly start to roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time, pressing through the heels. Once you come back up to a standing, take a few shoulder rolls. 
pulls here, rolling the shoulders up, pressing them back, and rolling down. You just kind of get your bearings here. Sometimes when you fold forward and then stand back up, it's natural to feel maybe a little lightheaded. Just taking a moment for yourself here before we move into our Sun A salutation. So you're going to come to the top edge of your mat with your feet hip width apart and parallel. Standing nice and tall, arms go down by your sides. I'm going to turn to face towards the camera just so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. On your inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Close your eyes for just a moment. And recall that beautiful intention that you started your practice with. When you're ready, open your eyes. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then take your right arm behind your back. Exhale, take the left arm, reach up and over. So it's a side bend to the right. Inhale, both arms reach back up to the sky. Exhale, take it to the left. Left arm back behind you. Right arm reaching up and over. Inhale, back up through center. If you'd like to invite a back bend, press the hips forward, lift the heart up and out. And then exhale, hands through heart center. Dive in for Find your forward fold. Utanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Back is long. Spine is straight. Hands come to your shins. Gaze forward. Exhale, fold. And then step your feet back. Find the top of your push up. We're going to take this first vinyasa nice and slow. So press energetically through your heels. Fire up your glutes. Pull the belly in. Inhale, shift forward an inch. And either from your toes or from your knees, lower down to the bottom of your push up. This is your Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, arch and open. Cobra or upward facing dog. Roll the shoulders back and down. Shine your heart. Exhale, roll over your toes. Press the hips up and back. Down dog. Those four poses together, that is your vinyasa. So when I cue the vinyasa, you go through those four, or you just take it out and press to down dog. Take a few breaths here. We're gonna go through that flow a few more times and just speed it up a little bit. One breath, one movement. Continuing to breathe in and out through your nose. Bring your gaze forward, bend the knees, hop or step to travel, top of your mat. Find your forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, full. Inhale, sweep the arms out and all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And we begin again. One movement, one breath. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, right arm goes behind you. Left arm reaching up and over, side bend. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, left arm behind. Right arm reaching up and over. Inhale, back up. Exhale, maybe you take that back bend. Inhale, through center. Exhale, hands through heart center. Flat back, fold it forward. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, hands down, hop or step through your vinyasa. High to low plank on your exhale. Inhale, arch and open. And exhale, down dog. Take three cleansing breaths here. Notice the quality of your breath. Continue to breathe in and out through the nose. And bend the knees. Bring your gaze forward. Travel to the top of your mat. Find your forward fold. Inhale, take your half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Right away, exhale into that side bend to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, center. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive it forward, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down and take your high and low plank. Inhale, up, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Awesome job. And breathe. And if you start to notice thoughts pop up, your to-do list, or maybe some judgments or expectations, just let them go and come back to that breath. From your downward facing dog, inhale your right leg high, bend the knee, open the hip, and then take some ankle rotations. Reaching that right hip 
up towards the sky, maybe some big knee circles here. And then square the hips back down towards the mat, straighten your right leg, inhale, lift it up higher. Exhale, bring your knee to nose in a plank position, cheetah, hug your knee in towards your chest, pull the belly in, inhale, up and back, three-legged dog. We're gonna do that two more times. Exhale, knee to nose, cheetah. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, cheetah, and hold. Then step the foot through, drop your back knees, you're in a low runner's lunge. And then just start to walk your hands forward, press the hips down and forward. Getting into that back hip flexor. And then walk your hands up to your right thigh. Pressing the hips down. And then inhale, you reach your arms up, lift your hips up slightly so you're lifting up, especially out of the waistline. And then on your exhale, sink the hips down, cactus your arms, shine your heart, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Do that a few more times. Inhale, lift up, reach the arms up. Exhale, sink, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach. Exhale, sink. Two more. One more. Find that cactus arms. Sink your hips low. Inhale, arms reach back up. And then exhale, bring your hands down in between. Or framing that right foot. Shift your weight back. Straighten that right leg. Flex the toes. And then fold over your right thigh. You can lower your seat down a little bit more. Just stretching out the entire your back side of that right leg, the more you flex your feet or your toes back towards your face, the more you activate the back side of that right leg. Breathe into the spaces and places that feel tight, let it go, surrender into the stretch. And then come back into a nice bent knee. From here, if this feels like a nice Stretch, and you just want to hold here, hold that low runner's lunge. Otherwise, you can reach back with your right hand for your left toes and then square your shoulders forward. Keep pressing down and pull the heel into your seat for a nice thigh stretch. Add it into that hip flexor stretch. Carefully release that left foot back down onto the earth. Tuck your back left toes under and lift the back left knee. On your inhale, reach your right arm to the sky. Find a dragonfly twist. So you're twisting from that navel and up. So drop the right hip. Keep your hips squared to the mat. Really focus on your upper body twisting. Stack your right shoulder on top of the left. And then take some big arm circles with your right arm, reaching it back behind down towards the earth, reaching it forward, and then back up to the sky. Big arm circles, getting into that integrity of your shoulder joint, your rotator cuff, and breathe. The next time the arm is back up, hold it back there in that driving fly twist. Hand comes back down to frame the foot, sweep your right leg back behind you, finding top of your push-up. Either from your knees or from your hands, five slow and controlled push-ups. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, press away. That's one. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, press away for two. Three more. Last one. Good. From here, press the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. So we're going to repeat that same sequence on the left side and just notice the difference between the right and left and how you feel it on the second side. Inhale your left leg high, bend the knee, open the hip, rotate your ankle, rotate through the knee, 
opening that left hip up toward the sky. And then start to straighten that left leg, square the hips. Point through your left toes, inhale the left leg high, and exhale, shift forward, knee to nose, cheetah. Three times, inhale, up and back. Three-legged duck. And exhale, knee to nose, cheetah. Inhale, up and back. And exhale, knee to nose, cheetah, hold it there. And then step the left foot forward, drop the back right knee. And just press your hips down and forward, getting that beautiful hip flexor stretch on your second side. And walking your hands up to that left thigh, continue to press the hips forward and down. And breathe. On your next inhale, reach your arms up, lift your hips up slightly, going into that cactus arm, heart opening back bend. Exhale, hips sink down, elbows come 90 degrees, squeeze the shoulders together. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, sink in cactus, find that heart opening back bend as you continue to stretch that back hip flexor. Exhale, each time you sink down, two more. Inhale, flip your right palm to the sky. 
Exhale, lower the left arm, reach the right arm up and over. Join first your warrior. See if you can commit deeper into that right leg lunge. Inhale, back up through warrior two. Straighten your right leg, reach your arms up to the sky. That should feel a nice, like a nice glorious release. And then exhale back into warrior two. Do that a few more times. Inhale, stand it back up, reach the arms up, touch the fingertips. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, up. Exhale, warrior two, and hold. Then from here, drop your right forearm down onto your right thigh and reach your left arm up and over for extended side angle. Just hold here for a few breaths. If a bind is in your practice, you can take bind or vertical paradise. You can reach that right arm all the way down to the earth. Or if you want more of a core challenge here, with your left arm reaching up and over, take your right arm and imagine you're holding a little beach ball and hold here using that core string. One more inhale and exhale. Inhale back up through warrior two. Exhale, windmill your hands down to frame that right foot. Right leg sweeps back. Maybe you keep the right leg lifted through your vinyasa. High to low. Inhale, arch and open. Exhale, down, down. Left side. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, cheetah. Step the foot forward. And then find those railroad tracks with your feet. So maybe walking your left foot out slightly. Inhale, upper body and arms rise, press and lunge. Nice deep bend in that left knee. Roll the shoulders back and down. Press through your back right heel. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior two. So again, left toe is pointing forward, right foot parallel with the back of your mat. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Look past your left fingertips. Tap the hips under. Inhale, flip the left palm to the sky. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Reaching the left arm up and over. The right hand is just barely touching the back right leg. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, sink lower. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Reach your arms up. Touch your fingertips over your head. Exhale, into warrior two. Inhale, through center. And exhale, warrior two. Two more. One more. Sink and hold into warrior two. Then take your left forearm down the inside of that left arm. For thigh, reach the right arm up and reach it over. Extended side angle. Again, whatever you did on that first side, you do that again here, taking the bind over to paradise, or maybe reaching the hand down to the floor, or reaching the arms out to the side and floating extended side angle. One more inhale and exhale. Inhale back up to warrior two. Exhale, windmill your hands down. Step your foot back. Maybe float the left foot and lower high to low. Inhale, arch and open. Exhale, down dog. And then walk your hands towards your feet. Finding a forward fold in the back side of your mat. Press through your heels, roll yourself up slowly, one vertebra at a time, and then shake that all out. So we're gonna do some inner thigh stretching and strengthening, and then we're gonna do some balance poses, and then we're gonna come down on the mat, stretch it out, and enjoy a well-deserved shavasana. So take a stance on the wide side of your mat. Your heels are gonna be pointed, pointed in, Toes are pointed out. Inhale your arms out to a T. And then exhale, sink it down in that wide second. You can kind of just shimmy side to side, bring your hands to your heart center. Just kind of ease into your inner thighs. Tuck 
tuck your hips under, upright your spine, smile. Beautiful, keep it right here. Even though you're holding this pose, you're not holding your breath, so let the breath come in and out through the nose with calmness. Long, reach the arms up five pointed star exhale sink it back down into your goddess pose inhale five pointed star exhale goddess inhale one more time and exhale goddess inhale stand up back to your five pointed star we're going to take it into a little fun flow. So bring your hands back into your heart center. Send your seat nice and low back into that wide second. Open your arms. So don't lift your chest, move the shoulder blades. You have to lift your gaze. And then exhale, round your back with your cat in your back. Reach your arms forward in front of you. Open. Close, like a wave, open, seat stays low, close, now we start to speed it up, open, close, your cat cow on your back, inhale, open, exhale, close, four more, one, two, three, four, inhale, stand up, five minutes, start, woo! Hands to your hips. We get to stretch that out. Bring your feet parallel, nice and wide. With a flat back, fold yourself forward. Let your hands come down onto the floor. And in this wide-legged forward fold, you can just walk your hands in between your legs. You can take a twist, taking one arm up, then the other arm up for a few breaths each. You can walk yourself over to one leg, take a few breaths, Walk yourself over to the other leg for a few breaths. Make it as your own here. And just breathe. If you would like a shoulder opener, you can take your hands and clasp them behind your back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and then just allow the arms to fall, fall down towards the earth. Shaking your head yes and no. Let's take two more breaths together here in this wide-legged forward fold. And then walk your hands out underneath your face. Your back is nice and flat. Heel toe your feet in until they're shoulder width apart. Heels in, toes out. Send your seat down as much as it feels comfortable on your knees. Find your yogi squat. Press your tailbone down towards the earth, bring your hands to heart center if that's available. So if this position does not feel serving to you, you can lift up and find downhill steer and squat from here. Otherwise, you're sinking your tailbone down, lifting your heart up, and pressing your elbows to the insides of your knees. Working for the hips. From here, if your eyes are closed, open your eyes, press through your feet, inhale, reach your arms and stand it all the way up, exhale, hands to your hips, and then have, just kind of shake that out for a moment, we're going to do one bouncing pose on your mat, then come back down to the mat. So I'm going to stand on profile so you can see how this works, we're going to move into Virabhadrasana 3 or Warrior 3, so you want to step towards the back edge of your mat. Hands come to your waist. Take a big step forward with your right foot. Transition all the weight onto your right foot. And then start to tilt your pelvis forward as that left leg starts to kick up and back. Find a drishti or a focal point in front of you. Point through your left toes. And then your arms can do whatever you would like that helps you feel balanced. You can bring them to a wide prayer. You can reach your arms out like airplane wings. You can even reach the arms forward and clasp your hands in candlestick. Finding a few more breaths in warrior three, press through all four corners of that right foot and keep your gaze locked on something that is not moving. If you fall out of it, you come right back in. 
and then take your hands to the outsides of your thighs and imagine you're closing a book. Bring your knees back in towards your chest. Hug your knees in and then take your knees over to the right, bringing your gaze over to the left, finding a spinal twist. Dropping your left shoulder down to the earth. And then like tucking your right hip under to deepen your chest. Bringing your knees back up towards the sky. Tee up your right arm. Use your core strength to lift the knees up through center. Drop your knees over to the left. Maybe use your left hand to guide them down. Tuck your left hip under. And then bring your gaze towards your right fingertips, dropping your right shoulder. Finding that counter stretch in your supine twist. Bring your gaze back up towards the sky. Lift your knees back up through center. And then lift your feet up towards the sky, hold on to the insteps of your feet, find your happy baby. Massaging your low back, rocking side to side, press your tailbone down towards the earth to lengthen the spine. And then maybe taking your legs straight a few times in a wide-legged straddle stretch, bending back in through happy baby. And then taking or finding a few moments to take any additional poses or shapes that your body needs before we come to that stillness in your final shavasana. Like pulling your knees in towards your armpits. Carefully releasing. Take your legs nice and long. Reaching your arms overhead. Full body stretch. Take a deep inhale. And then on your exhale, bring your arms down by your sides. Windshield wiper your feet in and out to release the hips. Maybe even just gently rock your head side to side. And then eventually finding some stillness here. Your palms can be face up if you're ready to receive the benefits of your practice. Or your palms can be facing down towards the earth if there's something you need to let go of or surrender or release. moments here to be fully still. Just imagine your body taking these next few moments to download and absorb all the benefits of your yoga practice and resting here in Shavasana.
And take a moment of gratitude for taking this time to meet yourself right where you are, to flow, to practice, to connect mind, body, and soul. On your next inhale, reach your arms up through the sky. Then on your exhale, bring your hands down at your heart center in prayer. It's an honor and a privilege to guide you through your practice. Thank you for taking your time and joining me through this flow. Namaste.